All right, this segment is on odds and ends. Yeah. Yes, okay. <laughs> or first aid items. The most important thing um, for a lot of us is medication, so get three days worth. I just grabbed an old bottle. I marked what was in here, what color they were, and um, got three days worth of medication. Um, we've got the, the next important thing. This is like 20 bucks on Emergency Essentials. Great little thing. It's got a, a, hand, a hand generator, a flashlight, and a place for your cell phone to charge. So, great buy. Um, this is a must-have. It's a, um, also a radio. So, that is something. And it comes in this nifty little um, holder. Super small. Really good quality. We love that. Uh, some other things that we think are important to include are extra batteries, of course. Um, something that may, you may not think about is dust masks, especially for those who might be in an earthquake zone. Um, or So we're planning on getting some of these from Tammy since she works at a hospital. But um, we found that they're pretty pricey on Be Prepared because you've got to buy a whole bunch of them. And really you only need a couple. I could use these in uh, uh, when the Twin Towers fell down. It was real dusty then. Toilet paper. Um, we found these survival books if you don't have one on Amazon for a cent. So really cheap. You can just pick up a survival book. We've got, for light, we have um, a couple of flashlights. We have a headlamp for each adult. Um, of course, the flashlight on the radio and then an extra flashlight. Whistles and compasses. Be Prepared Essentials has some really cool ones where it has a whistle, a match holder, and like all in one, not a compass, but... So you can grab a compass and a whistle. Um, there is a compass actually on it. Oh yeah, so those are that would be a good way to go. Uh, some glow sticks, just for extra light in case everything runs out. Um, well, and also for the kids. So like when you're in a tent with the kids, it's hard to put them down, right? So yeah. glow sticks the way to go. Glow sticks are the way to go. One for each night per tent. Book of Mormons. Where can we pick these up? Military surplus? Military surplus. Or also the New Testament. We're putting the New Testament yeah. in there as well. Teeny tiny. They're Remember small. we're going for small size. We've got toothbrushes, toothpastes, you know, stuff you'd use every day. Reflective tape or duct tape. Um, those are two things you can put in. A notepad and pencil, not a pen, because pens can freeze in cold weather. A lot of us will be in cold weather. Insect repellent, sunscreen that has a high, uh, you can get just the little ones. Here, I'll pull this out. It's a 50 SPF, and they're just little sticks. So that's a great way to go. Uh, we got a CPR mask in here. These are just ideas, but um, what probably one of the best places again to get a first aid kit is be prepared. Um, we checked at Walmart; they were really pricey. Uh, we luckily had one, and we kind of just we had a couple, so we just kind of put them together into one 72-hour kit: band-aids, Neosporin. Um, and stuff like that. So check out the spreadsheet and get it put together in those Ziploc bags. Also the um, hand mm -hmm. sanitizer. Yep. Oh, hand sanitizer. That's going to be huge for not getting sick. Yeah. And then also for the shampoo, we've oh, got... Shampoo, yeah. This is a rinse-free shampoo. And Luke found this at Walmart. The other thing is, is that you, we, we have a, you know, you think about a sanitation kit, sometimes they say get a bucket. Um, that that's a good idea to just have a bucket, but toilet paper just and hand sanitizer we think will do the job just fine. Bio wipes is another thing that Luke found in the camping section of Walmart in case you need like a sponge bath after a couple days of being away from a shower. So I know they have shower kits as well, but again we're just going for simplicity and ease. And we think this will do the job. Okay, that's it.